In this video, I'm talking about how you can grow 5,000 followers a week with the power of Instagram Reels. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Traffic here, back with a banger. And today, I'm talking about how you can gain 5,000 followers a week with reels now this video is also going to dive into the positives and the negatives of reels because i really want to address this topic because reels are not all they're cracked up to be before we get into the details of reels and the negatives and the positives of that i'm going to talk exactly about how you can gain that 5,000 hours a week from reels so i'm going to have multiple screenshots and then also a screen recording of some of the reels on some of the accounts um, that i owned by the time this video gets up these accounts will have already been sold and this is gonna be part for a new another video so if you guys want to learn how to buy and sell instagram accounts safely there will be a video posted after this one on the channel one of those accounts of course you're gonna be seeing it just is actually the one that i was having insane growth was the beastbrook account and if you've been following my channel for a little while you know that i did a zero to 10k speed run on instagram and that was the account and this account ended up blowing up in the month of january and february it's died off a little bit because i did a print on demand challenge and i tried to sell t-shirts for like a week straight and uh, fans weren't too happy about that if you guys want to check out my print on demand challenge how i fared in one week make sure you go check out that video it was it was fun to make just know that these aren't going to be my accounts by the time this video is up these numbers can be replicated on any account so the main thing you're going to be noticing here is number one yes i didn't gain officially 5,000 followers in those numbers but i came really really close you saw numbers of about 3,800 jumped up to 4,500 i think even 4,800 uh, for a little bit there with the with the unfollow with unfollows that does hurt a little bit your net followers anyway the main thing you're going to notice here that i had going on with the beast Pro account as i had video after video maybe not consecutively but although i did have a couple um, but multiple videos with millions of views one had like four million you're gonna see one two and then even like three and i think i had like a total of five or six um, videos with over a million views and that is huge absolutely huge if you get a video over a million views you are guaranteed to get some growth out of that like you can gain a solid three to five thousand dollars just from one reel now reels don't usually tend to pop off until about a week after they're posted usually some will go off right when they're posted and then they'll kind of die out for a little bit and then pick up right back again but from what i've noticed a lot of these reels they took a little while to go off so maybe it was about a week and then afterwards it had about a week and a half ish because Instagram doesn't really promote content that's over two weeks old, although it can be just for a little bit of period of time. But one week to the two week period, that's where the reels are promoted the most, I feel like anyway, at least from personal experience. And in that week, you're gonna have significant gains in your followers. Now to find these viral reels, the strategy that I've been using, there's two there's two ways to approach this. And this is gonna be part of my video where I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get viral content. This is something that I'm not absolutely perfect at, but I, I kind of have the basis of it. And the strategy isn't exactly foolproof. It doesn't always work. If you take a look at some of my accounts, like uh, my baseball account, not every post goes off, although not every post I, I post went viral at one time, but you will see a video on how to get viral content. This will give you a little sneak peek into that. And for real, either A, you wanna hop onto a trend the trend is your friend this is like crypto if there's a certain tiktok trend going on and that tiktok is somehow related has to be related to at least your page because then people will follow you and then they'll actually be active followers however this is not exactly the case i'm going to talk about this a little bit later in the video but the main thing here is you either want to hop on a trend maybe a tiktok trend or whatever the case may be or a video that's kind of popping off on several other accounts maybe two or three you know main main ones maybe not super big accounts but mid-tier accounts I'm talking 50 50 ish 50 to 100 thousand followers or even a little bit below if they're having some success chances are you're gonna have some success also now this is of course considering that you do have to have over uh, the required amount of followers for your niche that you can get on the explore page and do well on reels so you have to have you know typically it's about 3,000 followers where you can get um, on the explore page that's not always the case for each niche I've learned that um, for some of these sports pages I've ran it some of them went off uh, reels went off to just about a hundred thousand actually which was some of my bigger ones that actually helped jumpstart my account at around 1500 followers so it kind of depends um, what it is but it's typically 3,000 to 3,500 usually some it might even some niches it might even be more because they're so saturated that's something that does hurt is the saturated niches it's extremely hard to grow your reels aren't always going to pop off but you can can you can still get them it's gonna be a little bit harder to do but they can definitely still go off so the method the second method I like to use for reels is posting reels that kind of went off over a month ago These are they may go off again this is not always the case but it does work so this is part of my finding content strategy and that is posting content that is about four to 
to eight weeks or even older old or even older old nice nice four to eight weeks or older four weeks might be a little bit too too soon in some cases just because they're about you know a week and a half fresh off the press from real people are going to see that a ton and they'll be like nah i already seen it like five times because you know multiple pages are going to be posting it so finding content that is a little bit older cannot always bring you that viral reel but it, it certainly can it's worked for me multiple occasions if you watch that 10k speed run i had this one video that went all the way up to nearly 2 million views and this helped out tremendously it got me about 3,000 plus followers and that that's big when you're under 10k so that really helped but now I'm at about 23,000. I was at 23,000 by the time this video is up, not gonna have the account. And now here's where the downside comes up with these reels. So the positives are, yes, you can blow up. You can do amazing things with the reels. You can go viral. You can reach a whole new audience that's not typically on the Explore page and you know, whatever the case may be. And reels is Instagram's most promoted feature. They wanna, it's here to stay. It's not going away. It's like TikTok, everybody likes this. So reels are an amazing feature and they're great for growth, but, but there are some downsides. Page that is only reels cannot generate views and likes from posts that are not reels. If it, your page is, you know, a lot of reels and you try to post a video, it's going to suck. Guaranteed almost. The video happens to be, you know, it happens to go a little viral, then it, maybe, it, maybe it's a different case. But if you just post kind of a normal piece of content, it's not going to do well at all. The problem with these reels, the followers that you get, although they're plentiful, they're not always active. What I was saying earlier, when you're on a page, you have a couple options. A, you can sprinkle a reel in here or there to grow your page. B, you can just become reels only. Or C, you can kind of do half and half. Half and half is what I've tried to do. With that, it's one specific account. It did not quite work out. Now, yes, I still can get posts um, on the Explore page, but it's, it's a little bit harder sometimes for regular posts because sometimes that initial audience doesn't engage with that post because it's not, that core audience isn't exactly, you know, who follow me and once you get to a certain following i mean that core a thousand or so followers even all the way up to five thousand that core bit is what's really going to get your page on the explore page for reels i'm not exactly sure how that works how that can get you know going viral because like i said earlier you know weeks later or a week later at time i'm not entirely sure how the algorithm works in that respect but as far as it just getting normal posts on the explore page that's kind of how it works so again with that account that i was using reels that you know blew up yeah i gained a ton of followers and it's awesome and it can be it can be very helpful don't get me wrong it can be extremely helpful that's how you can grow fast extremely fast in 2021 is with the reels feature and not not all followers are like this it may just be you know this account that happened to have to work out like this and i think this is partially true uh, i'm just kind of warning you guys that yes this can this can happen but yes it can also not happen because my baseball page that one gets good engagement on both regular posts and reels and the reels posts haven't gone off nearly as much um, they haven't gone quite as viral and that page is actually kind of lagged behind the basketball one that i did run the basketball one i started on halloween night the baseball one i started back in the beginning of september and that page is only at about 20,000 right now. And by the time I sold the basketball one, it was about 23,000. So it actually blew past that. Um, so I haven't gotten as many reels to go off there or posts. I have had a quite a few posts to go off though. My posts are consistently hitting explore on that page, which is a great thing to have. You want to have a balance. Now I'm going to go over a little bit and how you can get your reels uh, to go off and explode and go viral um but these are just kind of a couple of observations i've noticed from reels and some of the posts that i've had go off now the first one being is instagram the instagram other is actually a lot like youtube's in the sense that they want watch time how long are you watching that reel are you just scrolling viewing it for half a second and scrolling right past it or are you continuing to watch it all the way through so this is why you will see captions your captions can be key reels captions have to be usually specific not always but a good caption can definitely help propel the the reel forward and uh, gain momentum to go viral so sometimes you'll you'll see a lot of captions now whether they do this intentionally or not I, when i do it i usually do it intentionally the caption will say wait for it yeah so if something happens a little bit later on the reel and that's that can actually be good now so a lot of times you want something to happen boom in the beginning and it catches their attention but that's not always good because then they're not gonna have good watch time you have 30 seconds on a reel you want them to try to watch it as long as possible and then if they go into the comments and that reel is still playing in the background that's a plus because i'm not entirely positive but I would assume that, that would count as a view in Instagram's playbook or at least in how many times you've watched that reel. Maybe you know you're watching it multiple times to try to see what happened or something like that. A lot of times those kind of do well. So try to structure your captions in such a way that will get engagement in the comment section or double tap for like if you agree that can kind of work those the liking ones or you know you post a TikTok where somebody says follow like share to come true. Those work to a degree and yes they do help a little bit. That's not the complete best method but I think it definitely you know it's worth your time doing that or some of them but not 
not all of them. If you do the same thing all the time, you were followers that, you know, are there, they're not, they're going to kind of get, you know, used to it. They're not going to like it as much. I think I've touched base on pretty much every topic of Reels, the positives, how you can go viral with them, the power of Instagram Reels, and also the weakness of Instagram Reels, which of course is followers not always engaging with your normal posts that will end up propelling your normal posts to go on the Explore page. Just to circle back, I can't say circle back. But just to touch base one more time on the Reels thing, uh, at least posting all Reels. If you post an all Reels page, it's going to be fairly successful, uh, but you're not going to want to post many normal and uh, your ads are going to be limited then. You're going to have to be really active in the stories because stories, you can still do ads, no problem. Well, your stories are going to have to be engaging in order for you to sell ads at least, or you know maybe your ads are through Reels. I don't know. You're going to have to figure something out as far as making money with a all Reels page, but I think trying to find a good mixture of both is key. Now, this is especially the case for the pages that are having Reels and their posts uh, appear on their page. If you're just having Reels, you know, um, in your Reels tab and not as a normal post, then this is, this is, there'd be a slightly different scenario there and you can kind of go off uh, on your own limb there. I, I personally don't do that on any of my pages. I always have the Reels on my main feed. That can definitely get you a bunch of followers. Now, I don't know if those people that are going to follow you, if they're going to quite engage with your normal posts, but that is actually going to show up in a later video of that's actually kind of a sneaky way to grow on Instagram. Anyways, guys, hopefully this did help you out. If it did, drop likes so I have more content. I talk about all things Instagram growth on this page. I also do Instagram challenges and crypto challenges, and I try to bring you guys some entertainment along with it as uh, I'm a complete beginner of a lot of things. Not Instagram growth, but different challenges that I'll be doing or crypto stuff. It's a lot of fun, so stay tuned, guys, for the next video. I will catch you all in the next one. Uh, peace.